Hello America, this is Call of Duty Goddess and today is January 24th, 2016. And um, I'd like to talk about what's going on in Harney County and there's a lot of people saying what good can come out of this? A slaughter? This is hurting the truth movement? This is hurting the patriot movement? Well, I beg to differ. I beg to differ because I can only see good coming out of this. And there's a couple of reasons why. Number one, what's going on out there is being live streamed constantly and um, if a slaughter does happen it'll be caught on camera and believe me the federal government out there knows this number two um, this is bringing attention to our Constitution I for one had never read the Constitution and in paying attention to this I read it and now I know my rights as an American citizen and I encourage each and every one of you to do the same and um, all the people that are going out there that are uh, there's one in particular youtuber who went out there uh, and witnessed what was going on maybe was a little iffy at first about the the intentions of the people out there in Harney County and what they're doing at that refuge they went out there saw for themselves and now understand that uh, maybe taking over the refuge may not have been the brightest idea in the world but it has opened the eyes of so many people out there that it is incredible and the naysayers well they have an agenda to fill number one truth will come out in the end and uh, these naysayers out there who are youtubers who think that they are just everything you know um, they are not going to change their minds on this because they will not admit they're wrong but I just wanted to bring to light what can come out of this and it can only be good in my opinion now maybe I'm wrong I've been wrong in the past but I want you to look at this and it's it's a 10 minute video and then you know my interpretation of it but let's give a look at this video and see what can come out of this Mr. Felthouse, did you want to take up Mr. Alexander's matter? Mr. Alexander case number 375134 oh, hang on just a second Mr. Falkowski Mr. Alexander has asked for a video of the procedure today Excuse me, are you attempting to serve me something, sir? Your Honor, for the record, I gave Mr. Alexander uh, some advance sheets. Your Honor, I would object at this time. Well, with just additional authority that came, that came to my attention after I filed my response. I basically uh, am in court. Um, Objection, Your Honor. I'm the moving party, and I'd like to address the court before Mr. Polkowski says another word. And based on situations and circumstances, I'd like to sign this first. I'm sorry, sir. I can't do that. Well, I can't use the case, sir. <clears throat> Although procedurally, I may be somewhat out of order. I, I would ask it be set over until Friday, since one of the rights that <coughs> where Mr. Alexander is stating that uh, I'm violating is his right to counsel on the underlying contempt action. And if it was continued until Friday, a public defender would be present could advise him on that issue. I think that's the first issue we should take up is whether or not he's representing himself or whether or not he wants a public defender appointment. Mr. Alexander, you know I can't proceed without a stipulation. Do you wish me to send this over to the presiding judge? Your Honor, if I may briefly address the court. Okay, it will have to be brief, Mr. Alexander. Briefly, Your Honor. Because I do have four trials Pursuant to Pursuant to documents Alexander. filed in the United States District Court this day, Fresno County Superior Court judges and in bank, including all, the full court, are named expect adverse parties in a federal class action lawsuit. Thus, it would be inappropriate for any Fresno County Superior Court judge to hear this case. Equally, it is my intent, pursuant to my authority under California Code, excuse me, California Penal Code, Section 837, place Mr. Polkowski under citizen's arrest. On what basis, sir? Uh, violation of Penal Code Section 166, as well as 422.6, 422.7. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
At this point in time, I am additionally requesting that a peace officer of the state of California takes that individual who I now deliver into custody. You may sign him out pursuant to Penal Code Section 849, sub B1. That's your discretion. Additionally, Your Honor, I would leave the court a copy momentarily, my personal file copy of said petition under Federal Rules of Civil Procedure Rule 27 filed this day with the federal court. Uh, I will be additionally going over and serving the presiding judge and bank. Um, Tom, if you could hand me a copy of that that Mr. Alexander has. Now, I would like to have this back, Your Honor, and while the matter is under consideration, I would like to depart from the courtroom, proceed with my associates across the street to serve the presiding judge. Also, my associate here today has a duplicate copy for which we would like to serve on Mr. Parkowski. Therefore, I would request that these documents, whatever they are, be returned to Mr. Polkowski, and when it's determined how we proceed, such appropriate service would then take place. I believe, Your Honor, that Mr. Polkowski, everyone in the district attorney's office, pursuant to this federal rules of uh, civil procedure rule 27 petition, as well as every judge in the Fresno County court system appearing in bank, has a personal interest in the outcome of this matter, and therefore be inappropriate and create a conflict of interest. In the event I'm wrong, I would like a minimum of two days to prepare a 170.1A6C challenge for cause against each and every judge in the Fresno County Superior Court system. I'd go along with this request uh, to continue the case for a couple of days until Friday. Um, I think that's what should be done. I haven't had enough. Has this actually been filed? It was. My copy indicates that it has been lodged with the clerk of the U.S. District Court. Miscellaneous cases as such are initially set before a magistrate, which has been explained to the uh, federal court clerk would be inappropriate. The case has been titled for courtroom one for the uh, Honorable United States District Court Judge Oliver, uh, excuse me, Robert E. Coyle. Um, when cases as such and a petition as such are filed, they are assigned at the interim a miscellaneous case number, and therefore they are only logged and not officially filed until it actually goes to the magistrate and then proceeds to the federal court judge for review. At that point in time, it will be assigned a permanent case number for which the following class action lawsuit will additionally be titled under the same case number. Well, uh, again, I, I was just given a copy of it uh, <coughs> a minute ago, and uh, there's no named defendants. Uh, Expected adverse parties, I believe, are listed on page 6. Defendants are not, Your Honor, in such a petition to be identified as actual defendants, rather are to be listed as expected adverse parties. And that is in compliance with Federal Rules of Civil Procedure Rule 27. I'm sorry, on page 6? Excuse me, page 8, number 4, James Polkowski, Deputy District Attorney, County of Fresno, ETA, Elf, Family Support Division, number 77777, P.O. Box. Thank you, I found it. Now, Mr. Alexander, you said these were your copies that you wanted to return? That is my personal copy, Your Honor, that is correct. Serving the presiding judge and bank would then be his obligation to make the duplicate copies and forward them to every single judge associated. Tom, if you could return this to, uh, oh, this matter is continued without prejudice to any pending interest before the court to Friday, October the 25th at 1.30. And uh, I guess the first issue that we'll take up is the pendency of an action that might require proceedings in this court being stayed while the federal court addresses Mr. Alexander's questions. So Mr. Alexander, we'll see you back here on uh, Friday at 1.30. Um, I got the uh, name of the gentleman, Dennis, who served me with the papers. I'd like, um, you said he was your associate? He is at this time now to be considered as a prospective co-plaintiff in the class action for which I have been asked to represent such federal interest and rights at stake in the matter. Okay, as a prospective co-plaintiff, I'd ask that he um, give me his address so that uh, I would know how to contact him. 
Mr. Uh, okay, and are you participating in the citizen's arrest? No, he sir, he is not. He's not. You're not participating? No, sir, he is not. He can answer for himself. No, sir. You're not participating? No, sir. No. Okay. Uh, Mr. Falkowski, I would reserve to you, um, having had Mr. Identified today as a prospective co plaintiff. I'm not certain what, if any, effect that would have upon the validity of service by a party. You would, of course, be, uh, I would reserve simply as a procedural matter your right to object to that service if he is, in fact, deemed to be a party to the action. Your Honor, having not uh, directly considered that at the moment, um, we could return that document and uh, Mr. or uh, Mr. Like a serving? I've already been served. He's not well, complaining let's, let's at this avoid, point. I am any. simply. Just a second. Mr. Alex, just a second. Mr. Falkowski, you're excused. Mr. Alexander, this matter is continued to Friday at 1 30. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Falkowski being taken into custody pursuant to my deliverance to this California peace officer. Mr. Mr. Falkowski is subject to the jurisdiction of this court and he will respond when the court orders him to do so. Let the record reflect as such, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Yeah. When may I obtain my uh, video copy of today's proceedings, Your Honor? As soon as uh, the proceedings are concluded, we'll pull the tape out and give it to you. Thank you, Your Honor. I'll return at the uh, end of the court's business this day. Thank you. Uh, actually, it wasn't, it wasn't on record because you guys proceeded before I put the tape in the machine. Isn't that amazing? I can make that copy off that tape at the end of the day, and I will give you a call, and you will have your picture. Thank you, kindly, ma'am. Well, look at that. A citizen representing himself in a class action lawsuit, well, representing a bunch of people, I assume, in a class action lawsuit against the whole county. Now, I don't know how this turned out, but um, it sure is refreshing to see that uh, a citizen taking it upon himself to learn the law, to read his rights, and represent himself in a courtroom. Um, I just wanted to bring some light on this and I don't know anything about the law but um, from what I've seen the corruption really goes deep and wide in, there at Harney County and I wouldn't be surprised if the corruption is that deep and that wide in many counties and cities and towns in America here. Anyway, um, this is for all those wonderful patriots out there in Harney County and all the people out there that are reporting the truth on the subject and um, in particular it's for the people out there who have went out there for themselves and seen what was going on and see that there is good that's going to come out of here I just wanted to reiterate the good that should come out of this situation anyway this is Call of Duty Goddess and as always, I've got your six.